So, what we try to do in the previous uh, lecture is like what are the different applications, how those applications are little different than the present day usages and how best we can go ahead that is what we have seen it. Now, in the next lecture what we try to do is what are the different management and analysis activity which you get it over here. Now, uh, we ca you have a web application programming interface which you will be able to do that. Then you have got a distributed GIS, this GIS as we have said as is web based, mobile based and corporate GIS as well as the gridding computer. Nowadays that even the mobile GIS has come up and which will be easier for us. So, what are the, the agriculture extension activities or extension information, so they can go either in the form of a advisory in the, the text mode or in the form of a map mode or in the form of a graphic mode that can reach people and things like that. So, and in addition to that what, what happened nowadays everything is we are talking about the open source, open source. So, open source is which you can download and use it and then you can you do not have to buy it out. So, that is the type of th things are available in the GIS also. There are this grass, quantum and map server they are all available in the open GIS softwares are available for a download purposes and you can use it and then you do not have to buy. The web that there are Google maps and live maps that is what we are all much familiar than anything else. These are all the product of the GIS which has come into picture. Now, what are the open geospatial consortium or OGC standard? See when you have a open downloadable thing the issue comes the previously if you buy a car if, if you buy a material from me and other you cannot use it with the other vendor. So, vendors they were trying to protect their own interest, but not allowing to merge with others. See this portion the open GIS uh, geospatial consortium is the group of universities and the government agencies and companies they joined together. So, they have developed their own GIS. So, if from my uh, the input is one and the data format may change from one to another and the individual other software the softwares will be able to convert from one to another and use it in their own analysis purposes. So, now what we have is what I trying to give you a list of proprietary software that means you may have to buy it from the regular vendor and some of them are very may be expensive may not be expensive depending upon who is funding over there. So, these are all the different type of SRE, Autodesk, Cardcraft, it does and all these things these are all the softwares which are available. This you may have to buy it on the desktop activity. Then another thing is these are all the open source softwares that means you can download it and use it the same purposes can be done. There may be some here and there inadequacies which we may have to look around. So, other GI softwares are also listed over here. So, that you can <laughs> decide. So, which software you want to do that if you have money and you can buy a proprietary item if you want to do it on a web uh, desktop fine if you want a de if you want a laptop type activities fine or in a mobile whatever you want to do however you want to do you will be able to do that. And if you do not want to do that if you do not have money. So, what happen is you can download some of the open softwares use it out and your purpose will be done. So, this is how this is how what we have what we have got is now uh, to get a effective agriculture practices for the future is that you have to try to collate information collate information means information from the elders like a orally you can just collect it and then record it and then use it in your activity. And you can take maps prepared from any time at any scale with any projections they will be able to you can use it either in the form of a maps in the form of a point in the form of a other activities which you will be able to do that. So, GIS will be able to store take or if you take a satellite picture or aerial picture or a UA picture any picture you take it out they can be brought in and it can be updated. 
So, uh, this updated information as well as the historical information they can be combined together and you will be able to take a database that is a baseline information you will be able to correct it and that information you will be able to use it for your own agriculture practices. Agriculture practices what I mean to say is village level, farm level, farmland management as well as the water resources management as well as salinity management any type of management which you come across is possible. So, only here is the resolution the if it is for a finer resolution if you want a finer resolution is like you, you may have to get a go more picture if you want to have a coarser picture then you go pixel size then you may have to way off with trade off is possible with all those things. So, all these things is not only for today it is for the tomorrow also tomorrow and another 20 years what will happen is the baseline information whatever you have created that can be updated that can be analyzed for a better changeover to meet the climate based smart agriculture which people are advocating now.